CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz. What does this sign predict? Now look carefully. You start the caps rex and you see these radial wrinkles. What does that mean? Look at that, radial wrinkles. Let's watch the case here. Now let's see, starting off with an incision here, puts a viscoelastic again, gets some maybe viscodilation, viscomedriasis. Now look at the needle poking in to start a cystotome rexus and, oh my goodness, that is really bad zonulopathy. Loose zonular support means the anterior capsule is going to wrinkle and you get those radial wrinkles when you're trying to enter the lens capsule. Now in this case, there's so much zonulopathy that even poking in with a sharp needle shows you that. Now, you may wonder, why, cataract coach, are you doing the caps rex with just forceps? You don't typically use a cystotome. Why? Well, the cystotome is not quite as sharp, so I can tell almost immediately, is there good zoner support? Because if I see that wrinkling with my forceps, I know it's loose zoner support. Now, surgeons going in here with four iris hooks. Let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our fantastic sister channel, retinarounds.com or youtube.com slash retina rounds. Please sign up, free daily video about retina surgery, including stuff for general ophthalmologists and cataract surgeons like you and me. Now, you're using iris hooks here, which is okay to hold the support for the anterior capsule rim. Little gentle hydro dissection. Fortunately, not a very dense cataract here. I prefer to use these lens capsule hooks, which are a little bit different, but you can certainly use the iris hooks. Again, there's the nucleus. It should be removed pretty easily. Now, this is probably a young person because no phaco probe. Look, just a coaxial IA probe to remove all the lens material. That looks pretty easy. So getting all that lens material out comes up pretty easily. Now, there's some cortex. Be careful because you only have these four points of fixation. Now, going through your mind, you must think, well, how are we going to secure the IOL? Or how are we going to secure the caps or bag? So I like this idea. Don't let the eye collapse. Inject viscoelastic in the bag. A little more viscoelastic inside the bag. Ah, capsular tension ring with an eyelid. So it looks like a Sioni ring. So delivering a capsular tension ring, CTR, and you see it has that extra eyelid through which the surgeon's already threaded a polypropylene suture. Get this in the bag, nice and easy. Get it delivered around. Now, how do you know where to place this eyelid for this, the Sioni ring? Well, you got to guess kind of where is the weak support here. Now making a little bit of a pyridomy and cleaning up the sclera there. Perhaps we're going to make a little groove here. And let's take a look, see what's going to happen next. So surgeon here is, uh, yep, just positioning that eyelet above the capsorexis. Now making some marks here, a little bit of a groove. So passing the tenopolypropylene through. Here's a hollow bore needle to help guide it out. Get that polypropylene suture in there. And then once you pull that out, get both ends out, you can tie a knot and you can bury it. So here, just placing the suture itself inside that hollow bore needle to guide it outside through the sclera, transclerally. And once you get both ends, you can tie that down. Now, what are you gonna do on the other side? You're gonna put a capture tension segment on the other side? So you probably wanna get some support 180 degrees away. This may not be enough. So here's the other end of the, the suture going in the hollow bore needle again. And now you've got both ends holding onto that island of the Sioni ring coming out here in the sclera within that groove that was created, that half scroll depth groove. Tie this up, make sure it's a nice secure knot. And that'll be good, strong fixation on this side at least. Now what should we do on the other side? Now there's the knot, tie it up nicely, get that knot rotated inside the eye. Here comes an eye well. Okay, single piece acrylic lens going in the caps or bag it looks like. Now, I'm just wondering what will we do on the other side because this is probably like global zonulopathy. Is this one fixation point enough, at least for now? So let's find out. So the eyeball is in the bag here. Okay, get the haptics in the bag as well. And now you've got uh, that knot being pushed inside the sclera, which is good. The, the suture itself is within that groove, which is great. There's rotating the knot. Push it inside. Beautiful. And now do you need to secure the other side or not? So this is a good question here. Is there total global zonulopathy? Do you need to secure the other side as well? Or was there just this one area that needed securing? Now you could kind of end the case here and come back later, which is I guess what we're going to do. If the lens does descend or later, you have the one point of fixation. If you need a second point of fixation, you can always put a suture around that CTR 180 degrees opposite the island of the Sioni ring. So very interesting case here. I hope you got the quiz right. Always fun to learn from great surgeons like the one we just featured here. 
Beautiful result. Remember, check out our counterculture website and, of course, rentarounds.com. I promise you're going to love it.